Spacebit is a British company focused on developing space robotics technology. They developed the Asagumo robot, a spider-like rover, and plan to send it on a mission to the moon. For this mission, we have designed a deployment system for the lunar rover once the launch has landed on the moon. This aims to safely lower the Asagumo down from a height of 0.8 meters onto the lunar surface. For us, simplicity is key. We designed a low-cost, lightweight and highly automated mechanism with one trigger. From the initial deployer box conditions, we decided to use a trapdoor mechanism to open the bottom face of the deployer box. Then we decided the rover should slide down the ropes to slow down its descent. Inspired by a rappel rack, we made the rover slide round two cylinders as it fell. The simplicity of the total mechanism then meant we could decrease the size of the deployer box from 20 by 25 centimeters to 15.5 by 15 centimeters. The size of the box will also be the frame with a thermal MLI foil covering instead of solid to reduce weight. This system will be triggered by a signal sent from the command center to the lander when it lands on the moon. This will open the bottom face of the deployer box through a trapdoor mechanism controlled by two small motors. Then, gravity will cause the rover to descend by sliding down four Kev Kevlar ropes. The ropes are 65 centimeters long and have a diameter of 3 millimeters, so have a total mass of 25 grams. With a braking strength of 300 newtons, it will be able to withstand the weight of the rover on the lunar surface. The rover will have four sets of two aluminium rods attached to its side faces. Its horizontal orientation of the rods will generate friction between them and the rope, resulting in a slower descent of the rover. This impedes the acceleration by 90% and its impact velocity by around 66%. This could be reduced even further with additional rods in the mechanism. However, this means added weight and cost. As the rover descends at low speed, it can extend its legs to prepare for impact with the ground. When it reaches the end of the 65 centimeter ropes, it will pass and free fall to the lunar surface for approximately 10 centimeters.